Ciao, I'm Matt Squally. Welcome to my kitchen. Hello everybody, yes, excuse my back. Ciao folks, I'm Matt Squally, welcome to my kitchen. Today we are cooking for a Bona Pasqua. It's like the Super Bowl of holidays if you're an Italian family. You all come together, we start to show you the garden, we cook together, we love together, we eat together, we say a little hello, 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 and then we all take a nap. That's a Pasqua. So today I show you how to make a version of a rabbit for a Pasqua. Now, Pasquale made a rabbit. He did slow cook with the wine and the garlic and the burro. But today I show you how to make a crispy rabbit with roasted carrozze. Okay, shall we cook? Yes, sir, we shall cook. Okay, time to get the rabbit ready to get nice and crispy. First, we have beautiful, beautiful rabbit. I cut into six pieces. The back legs, the front legs, which are much, much piccolo, and then the saddle. The saddle is the back. I cut twice. To make nice and tender, we take some burro latte, buttermilk. I don't think you can milk the butter, but it's buttermilk. And we have a little bit of white wine vinegar to make a nice tender. So we take the beautiful pieces of rabbit, nice and lean, and we put it inside the milk. Yeah. And we make a little bit of vinegar. Swim, 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 swim. And that stay there for like 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. They take all the, the fat and the flavor inside the rabbit. I go wash my hands. Okay, now we get the carrozza ready for the oven. It's getting nice and hot, 425. And here the carrozza, I peel, I leave a little bit of the, the green verde, and we're gonna brush with the, my favorite ingredient, aglio, 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 and they go in the oven. Nello. We paint a carrozze with the aglio, aglio, aglio. Now, while we wait for the oven and the carrozze, I'm gonna make the lemon and garlic oil sauce for the carrozze. Very nice, it bring nice flavor to the sweet roasted carrots. So we have a garlic, a shallotze, more aglio aglio aglio, and some limon. My favorite thing is smash. Ay, 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 ay. Smash, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, smash, yeah, 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 yeah. And we chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it for the Pasqua. Oh, the shallots. Cut the half. And cut nice and. You want to make sure the garlic and the shallots are very close to size. For Lent, I gave up. A vino, but if you put a vino in the coffee cup, nobody knows. Squeeze the lemon, we want nice juice. Okay. And 
Now we get the pan hot. So once the pan nice and hot, we put a little bit of our aglio aglio, aglio and then the garlic and the shallots and lemon. We turn down the temperature, we don't want it too hot. And then slowly, slowly cook. Here we have a little bit of fresh basilico. Chop it, chop it, chop it. Fresh basilico, mix in. Mix around. Okay, now we cook a rabbit. Okay, so the oil is uh, on the pot. We put a high, but it's very important. You have a thermometer like, like the remote, you know? Yeah. So it just go on. So right now it's 72. Then we see it go up, it go up, it go up. Basta at uh, 300, 300, right? Is that how you say it? 300, 300, okay. So we wait. While we wait, we make the rabbit nice and ready. Nice bowl of flour, now we season it. We use a little sale. Mix, 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 mix. Here we have garlic powder. Mix, 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 mix. And oregano. Okay, now we take the rabbit piece. This is the, the arm. Okay, we mix in the flour like this. Nice and nice and nice. Make sure all is covered. The flour make nice and crispy. Okay, now when we go for commercial break, we we come back. The oil is hot. We make a rabbit cook side. Okay, ciao. Okay, welcome back. As you can see, the oil get in, oh, it's 297, 297, almost there, almost at 300. Then what we do, once I hit 300, we put the big piece of rabbit, so the leg first, primo. Then we put the back, then we put the arms. The reason is the big take the long, the smaller take the least, if you stagger like this, it cook perfect. Now, when the food go inside the oil, keep in mind, it bring the oil down in temperature. So you need to make sure you keep your friend. You don't want to go too hot. So below 325, but at 300 or more. So somewhere in between. Okay, the leg is ready. Nice and crispy. Look for the other one. Ah, that's it. So, the rest of the rabbit is finished now. We pull out of the oil. We put a paper towel on the plate so all the oil get nice absorbed. Okay, so we build a nice plate. Carrots. Okay. And now we take the garlic, a lemon, a basil, a shallots, and move all over the carrot, parmigiano. Okay, now we put the on the pan. Nice crystal salt, black pepper, fresh limone, okay. and then we finish with the green chives. Okay, so we're ready. We take a fresh lemon, just to give a little squeeze. And here I got the front arm. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mamma mia, a ball. 
Mm. I maybe even like it better than, um, what's the guy? You wear the suit, the beard, the Kentucky. Better than that. When your food is ready, you sit down with the family. It's the people you love. You tell a story, you eat some rabbit, you have a little cafe, and you spend time with the people you love. Like the channel, subscribe to the channel, leave a letter for Matsquali, and remember, arrivederci, buona Pasqua, e ciao.